Should I do it? Should I, should I do it? Should I do it? Should I, should I do it? Hey, what's up guys? Royal here. Welcome back to the channel. See, we're going to be looking at a war we just had with Silent Assassin. And like you can see here, we clinched that victory. Coming out on top of that 67 to 66. Uh, coming in with a little bit less percent than them, but we edged them out on the stars. So we brought home that victory. Uh, what we're going to do today, guys, we're going to check out two of the Tunnel 9 hits and two of the Tunnel 10 hits. Four completely different strategies. We're going to get into it right after this. Alright guys, so we're going to get into our first attack. we got General Savage going up against Little Bomb Bomb. And we're coming in uh, with a little bit of a Gobo Lalo action, guys. And if you don't know what a Gobo Lalo is, that is Golems, Bowlers, Lava Hounds, and Loons. And, of course, there's a Tunnel 9. So, we don't have uh, Bowlers unlocked yet. Uh, we're going to have Bowlers in that Clan Castle. And, first off... You can see here, we're going to pause it for a second, he's got three air defenses right in this side of the base. So with this jump spell down, you're going to give access to all three of those air defenses. Uh, the Expo, uh, the uh, Sweeper, and of course this enemy queen is going to step over, so you're going to get that as well. And so what we're going to do here, once that funnel is created by those wizards and the golem, we're going to get that jump down. We're going to get the bowlers down and the heroes. They're going to start coming into the base, into where we funneled them. Clan Castle comes out, got the poison down on the Clan Castle, already got the uh, two air defenses down, going to take out the third. And of course, as uh, we're entering the base, we've got that rage down. Uh, make sure our queen and all the other uh, troops can take out their Clan Castle. And uh, look at this huge piece of the base that we've carved out already in tons and tons of value so we just got that one air defense now at the bottom of the screen and it's gonna have a direct path obviously for those uh lava hounds so we can start from the top lava hounds can go all the way across the base and soak up all those uh air mines uh seeking air mines and you know just to help your balloons get through the base without getting hit by all those traps it's really going to help out. So we got the Lava Pups helping out. We still got Bowlers alive running around. And even one of our Hounds hasn't popped. We got the uh, cleanup going up on the top with the Minions. And then of course guys it's just going to be up to the cleanup now. That was a great push by the ground army. Uh, the Gobolalo is honestly such a strong army strategy for Town Hall 9. You can use it on so many different bases, guys. Uh, if you're a Town Hall 9, I'd really strongly consider it. Uh, yeah, so really nice attack here by General Savage, and uh, we're going to get on to the next one right after this. Alright guys, so getting into our next attack, we got Zeus going up against Mr. Crowley, and we're coming in with the Witch Slap here, guys. So, uh, to start off the Witch Slap, we got Witches down in the southern part of the base uh, with some healers behind them to keep them all nice and uh, full health and healthy to go through that section of the base. Uh, we're having connection problems today, guys. Uh, we're going to put down uh, some more Witches and healers in the more eastern side of the base over there. They're going to go take care of that uh, max level king. Level 30 over there, uh, he's uh, going to be no problem for those 10,000 skeletons over there. And uh, yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to have the golem and the bowler and some more witches with the heroes coming into the mid side of the base there, in between their two funnel points. We had a lot of damage they were coming into. They came into that clan castle, they uh, came into the enemy queen, wizard tower, bomb tower, and uh, yeah, he added a heal down very nicely to keep them all alive while they push through there. Uh, there was a double poison, so it acted for the enemy queen and the uh, clan castle. So, very nice job there. Completely flattening this base, like, very, very uh, quickly and efficiently. And you can see there's just tons of, uh, tons of troops left. There's just two mortars. Last cannon just went down. And, of course, the uh, air defense isn't going to do anything to those ground units so we got tons of skeletons still running around you got a whole pack up here healers everywhere very nice attack by zeus and uh yeah very nice plan i'm gonna speed along because you guys already know what's gonna happen they're gonna go take out that builder hut and that's gg 
Once again, well done to Zeus, and we'll get on to our next attack. Alright guys, so we're going to get into our next attack. We got Wreck coming in against Beef, and what we got going on here, we got a Sui Lalo coming in. So, it's kind of a two-time Sui Lalo, because uh, we got the Suicide Blimp to start. You can see here, we got a couple of balloons in uh, to tank, so that our Blimp can get to the Town Hall safely. And inside this Blimp, guys, we're going to have a Dragon and three balloons. So, we're going to kill that Enemy Queen. We're going to take out the two Teslas that were there, and then the Dragon's even going to go out and... Uh, take out that town hall which is of course has lots of hit points so i mean that's great to get that out of the way for your cleanup and so now we got the suicide heroes coming in and of course funnel here by that baby drag so we're gonna go in and we're gonna send uh the king and queen in here and the king's gonna walk up and take out a bunch of trash buildings while the queen's gonna move in take out that air defense take out the archer tower go in and uh take out the whiz tower and then take out the sweeper now take note guys we already had hit this base so we knew that there was a lava hound and a loon in the cc so of course that says that those troops defending aren't going to do anything for your lava loon portion of the attack so we popped that early queen ability because we did not want her to take out that lava hound because of course if the lava hound pops the pups they can do damage to your uh, balloons and your Lava Hound, but the Lava Hound itself won't do anything. So, we didn't want it to pop. And so now we got the Lava Loon portion coming in from around the eastern side of the base. We're kind of just doing it counterclockwise up there, working our way around. Some of the balloons had uh, trickled off into the other section from the core there, but it all works out here. We got the haste and then we got the rage to push them into the very center of the base. We got uh, Lava Hound already popped. There's a cleanup going on around the base. And um, we're just coming into the last few defenses really. Uh, last haste down. And uh, they're going to zoom into that wizard tower. And then we got the uh, back end heal to keep them all up and healthy. And we dropped an archer here, guys. And the main thing with that was to pull this lava hound and the balloon over. So less of our pups were going to be attacking it. Uh, hence, keeping the hound uh, alive uh, without popping for a longer period of time or even just not popping at all. In this case, he's about to pop. Uh, but, yeah, distracting that Lava Helm, pulling it off to the side so that uh, it doesn't die to your Lava Pups. Uh, so we're going to get on to the next attack right after this. All right, guys, so we're going to get into our last attack, and we got Brandon coming in against Predator, and we're coming in with an Electron, guys. And if you don't know what an Electron is, you'll see in a minute here. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start off at the eastern side of the base there. we got Giant down to uh, do some tanking for our baby drags to start that funnel. Uh, got the wall breakers down, open that compartment up. I'm going to send our heroes in to go take out the uh, wizard tower, take out the air defense, and the... Uh, basically as much as they can over there and why is it called the electron you say well you're gonna see here one second see in this blimp we got an electro drag guys and under that blimp we put the rage and a clone spell so it clones all the balloons in that blimp and so the electro dragon uh is gonna take out the enemy queen here and the balloons take out a bunch of the defenses, so it just absolutely destroys that one part of the base. Now you got those two compartments taken out, and then uh, your queen's still going in the center there. And uh, we're going to come in with that Lalo portion, and even got that Electro still doing some uh, cleanup at the bottom there. Gets picked off by a random uh, air mine, but he's still going. Uh, yeah, Lalo's coming in. Uh, in the core there, coming around clockwise to the west side of the map, and dealing a little bit with the uh, sweeper here, but really nice, clean attack. Look at the pathing here. Got that heal down uh, to keep all the balloons alive, and a nice split in three different directions with the haste spell. Uh, getting low a little bit on balloons here. Uh, gonna take out this... Uh, uh, Tesla kind of go in and take out the rest of these buildings over here, or are they? They're getting pretty darn low on health. Uh, <laughs> take out that whiz tower. One more shot probably would have taken them out, 
but this uh, archer tower in the corner is going to pick them off. You can see here, there's uh, 47 seconds left in the raid, and uh, there must have been like 49 seconds maybe left uh, in the uh, raid uh, when we were watching this live. We were just sweating off <laughs> this attack. It was uh, it was intense, and it was really fun. As you can see here, the electric drag is low on health. Minions, of course, low uh, health to begin with. The uh, wizards had low health here, so it was really close. Clutch attack here. The Electro Dragon, the two wizards, and some minions gonna go through, take out the last archer tower, and it's down. And now the last two buildings are gonna go down. Nice attack here by Brandon, uh, coming out with that Electron. Something you don't see a ton of, guys. Uh, but very nice attack, and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And if you did, Drop that like on the video for me, and if you guys have not already, go subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep bringing out Clash of Clans content as much as possible, and with that guys, you all have a good one. Peace out.